Hello friends, it's Kik, and in today's episode, you can expect OpenAI, which has created a team to reduce the risks of AI going out of control. Unusual technology from Japan at the Japan Mobility Show, Mitsubishi presenting an off-road minivan of the future, Honda, which with Canadian scientists, has created sensitive artificial skin for robots, ChatGPT, turning Boston Dynamics robots into talking guides, and SpaceX's main competitor, Yule, which is looking for a buyer ahead of Vulcan Rocket's crucial test. All this and much more right now. Let's go! Go. We will start today's episode with OpenAI, which is forming a new team to reduce catastrophic risks associated with artificial intelligence. The team will engage in tracking, assessing and forecasting potential problems caused by AI, including nuclear threats. They will work on mitigating chemical, biological and radiological threats, as well as autonomous proliferation of AI. Additionally, the group will address risks such as deceiving humans and threats in the field of cybersecurity. The readiness assurance team will be led by Alexander Madry, who serves as the director of the Center for Deployable Machine learning at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. OpenAI notes that the group will also work on risk-aware policy development, which will outline the company's approach to assessing and monitoring AI models. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman has previously warned of the possibility of catastrophic events caused by AI. In May, Altman and other prominent AI researchers published a statement asserting that reducing the risk of human extinction due to AI should become a global priority alongside other large-scale risks such as pandemics and nuclear war. During an interview in London, Altman also suggested that governments should take AI as seriously as they do nuclear weapons. Meanwhile, in Japan, the annual Japan Mobility Show took place, where engineers from across the country showcased their most whimsical developments in technology and robotics. The exhibition displayed a multitude of smart machines, but there was also room for odd inventions. For example, the Japanese presented a minibus with legs, which looks more like a vehicle from Star Wars. Very little is known about this project, although it doesn't seem likely that we will see it on the roads. But this is Japan, where absolutely anything is possible. The second wonder of the exhibition was the piloted 4.5-meter transformer robot Arcad priced at $3 million. By the way, we told you about it in our previous episodes. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be the first to learn everything. In this machine, the pilot can control all the limbs of the robot and even ride at a speed of up to 10 km h. The robot weighs 3.5 tons. Archax is powered by electricity, but the machine's autonomy is not disclosed. Yamaha, a major Japanese motorcycle manufacturer, introduced the smart motorcycle Motoroid 2, which can dance. Almost every part of the bike is movable, including the handlebars and even the engine. Yamaha has not yet revealed details about the Bika. It is only known that the motorcycle has a built-in autopilot based on neural networks. And Honda at the Japan Mobility Show presented self-propelled chairs. They resemble the flying seats from the animated movie WALL-E. It is important to note that these robots are not created for users with disabilities, but for ordinary mutants and, of course, people. At the Tokyo Motor Show, Mitsubishi unveiled a brand new concept called the DX. This electrified 4 van combines the space of a minivan with the off-road capability and durability of an SUV, becoming a true multi-tool all-terrain vehicle. The first thing that catches the eye is the spacious interior with a large glass area, providing plenty of natural light. The headlights are located on the wide wheel arches and are complemented by whimsical T-shaped lamps at the sides of the windshield. Large off-road tires are hidden under the wheel arches, giving the DX the appearance of a lunar rover. There is a practical reason for this, as the large ground clearance, front and rear protection and almost non-existent overhangs should provide good off-road capability. But the real highlight of the concept is its interior. The absence of a hood and the large windshield provide the driver with an unbounded view, which is extremely important when driving through rough terrain. Mitsubishi has also created a digital assistant that provides the driver with useful information regarding weather conditions, navigation and vehicle status. The interior is upholstered in brown leather and complemented by stylish alumite grey metallic inserts. Also noteworthy is the special audio system that creates a sense of three-dimensionality. Speakers are located throughout, including in the headrest of the seats, for a complete surround sound experience. A group of scientists from the University of British Columbia, in collaboration with researchers from Honda, has developed a touch-sensitive artificial skin for robots. It is clear that robots, which will operate alongside humans, must possess a sensitive outer covering. This primarily pertains to tactile sensations, which will allow artificial intelligence or software to correctly calculate the force of limb compression. After all, a robot can do more than just pass a glass. It can help a person get up or move them into a wheelchair if it serves as a caretaker. To endow robots with sensitivity, scientists have 
developed a sensor based on silicone rubber that is suitable for inexpensive and mass production. The proposed design not only compresses in response to pressure, but also folds when forces are applied longitudinally, much like human skin. However, unlike skin, which has hundreds of sensitive receptors per small unit of area, artificial skin cannot yet boast such properties. Creating more sensitive sensors will allow robots to be taught delicate manual operations from sewing to assembling small parts into a hole. Someday this will happen, but for now, being able to deliver a glass of water intact is also an achievement. According to the company's forward-looking plan, the DX should become an extension of the Delica line, off-road minivans that have been in production for more than 50 years. Boston Dynamics used the popular chatbot ChatGPT from OpenAI, as well as some other open source language models, to train its robotic dog in human speech. Now, Spot conducts tours around the company's facilities, answering tourists' questions. Let us venture onward to the calibration board, shall we? The team provided Spot with a very brief script for each room at their sites. The bot then combined this script with images it receives from its cameras, allowing it to gather more information about what it sees before generating a response. According to the company, Spot uses models of visual question answering to describe images and answer questions about them. Spot has also been equipped with a speaker for text-to-speech conversion, and its mouth aperture has been synchronized with the uttered phrases. The RoboDog acted as a tour guide and was able to describe its surroundings. However, at the same time, very unexpected things happened that no one had taught him. For example, when asked who its parents were, the robot suddenly approached some old robots standing nearby and pointed at them. One of the interesting new features of the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor is the support for the ISOCELL Zoom Anyplace function, developed by Samsung for smartphones with 200 megapixel sensors. This solution allows for the automatic tracking of moving objects during video recording and scaling of the image without loss of quality. The ISOCELL Zoom Anyplace technology enables the user to select an object of interest during video recording on a smartphone so that the camera can track it independently. Manual focusing on the object is no longer required. The function is based on an artificial intelligence algorithm and is supported by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor. Even if the object moves very quickly, it remains in the frame, and the operator does not need to move the smartphone manually, meaning the image does not shake. Another advantage of ISOCELL Zoom, any place is dynamic scaling of the image during video recording. If previously an enlarged object lost quality compared to the full frame, now with the new function, both cases maintain true 4K resolution without compromising quality. Moreover, it supports the simultaneous shooting of the full scene and a high-resolution fragment of it, meaning in a greater number of angles. And what would Kik be without space? The CEO of United Launch Alliance, Tori Bruno, stated that the buyer of the company would be able to take advantage of the fruits of the rocket manufacturer's transformation, reconfirming that it is up for sale. Meanwhile, Yule is in good shape. It has moved away from Russian rocket engines and has overcome the threat of competition from SpaceX. The statement came two months before another attempt to test the Vulcan rocket, but talks of ULA's sale have been ongoing since the beginning of this year. Potentially, ULA could reduce the cost of Vulcan launches. Work has already been done that could make the rocket reusable, relying on the reusable BE-4 rocket engines from Blue Origin. This collaboration, by the way, could lead to Amazon's intention to become the owner of ULA. This is all the more logical since Jeff Bezos' company has already purchased 50 launches on the Vulcans for communication satellites for its own space internet network. Kuiper, another potential buyer for ULA, is considered to be Lockheed Martin. Boeing is experiencing difficulties with both its civilian airplanes and its Starliner manned capsules for NASA. Obviously, they are not in a position to make purchases right now, thus the intrigue remains, but nonetheless, it is approaching its denouement. That's all for today, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to not miss a fresh portion of handpicked news. Goodbye!